Hi everybody, welcome back to our kitchen here at Little Spoon Farm. If you're new, my name is Amy and I'm so glad that you're here. Today we are going to make these cute little sourdough pumpkin dinner rolls and I promise your family is going to love to see these on their Thanksgiving holiday dinner table. So let's get started. You want to make sure that your sourdough starter is active and bubbly when you go to mix your dough. I like to mix my, uh, or feed my sourdough starter the night before, be right before I go to sleep. And that way when I wake up in the morning, it's nice, active, bubbly, and ready to mix. So you want to go ahead, get a batter bowl out and mix all of the wet ingredients together first. So to the bowl, add your uh, pumpkin puree, your sourdough starter, the milk, the egg, the melted butter. You're also gonna want to add the light brown sugar and salt. Now use a whisk to mix all of these together. I like to, to mix all of the wet ingredients first because it helps that sourdough starter get evenly distributed along with the other ingredients all throughout that liquid. So when you go to mix your flour in, you know that it will be nicely incorporated. Next, you'll want to add your flour to the bowl. You can use all-purpose flour or bread flour. Either one will work. Then take a stiff spatula or a dough whisk and get the wet and the dry ingredients incorporated really well. You're looking to see that there's no more little dry bits of flour in the bowl. Cover that and let that sit on your counter for an hour so that the flour can go ahead and absorb that liquid. Once the hour is up, you want to turn the dough out onto a work surface that you've dusted lightly with flour. And you're gonna wanna knead the dough for about 60 seconds. You're really just trying to kind of bring it together and make sure that all the ingredients are evenly distributed. And don't be afraid to use some flour. The dough is a little bit sticky, but you don't want to add too much flour because this is like a really nice, soft, pillowy dough. So once you have gotten the dough to come together in a ball, go ahead and put it back into the bowl and cover it. And you're gonna let this sit out at room temperature for about seven, eight hours. You want it to rise by about 75%. I used my proofing box at 72 degrees and it took seven hours. So if you are in a cooler kitchen, that is gonna take longer to rise. And if you're in a warmer kitchen, it will take less time. So once the dough has risen by about 75%, you're gonna to want to transfer it to the fridge. Now the reason why is it's gonna um, rise a little bit more while it's in the frizz, fridge, but in order to shape these little pumpkins, it's so much easier to work with a cold dough versus one that is room temperature. Now you do have two options with these rolls. You can shape them into the pumpkins or you can just shape them into regular dinner rolls Either way is fine. So if you don't wanna make pumpkins, you can go ahead at this step, instead of putting it in the fridge, you can shape them, let them rise again and bake them. But if you wanna make the pumpkins, go ahead and stick it in the fridge until you're ready to bake. Before you divide your dough and shape the little pumpkins, you're going to want to cut out some twine in order to create the pumpkin shape. So each um, roll will need three pieces of twine about 16 inches long so you will need a total of 36 pieces of twine you're going to make 12 rolls and go ahead and snip those out and get them put to the side so they're ready to go go ahead and take your dough out of the fridge and then use a bench scraper to divide it into 12 equal portions. I like to weigh the portions. They should weigh about 105 grams and that way each little pumpkin is the same size. So working with one portion at a time, take it and lay it onto your work surface and press it out into a disc shape. Then pull the edges into the center of the dough flip it over and use your hands to gently cup and turn the dough ball until it makes a nice tight little ball. Set it off to the side and then grab three pieces of string and lay it out onto your work surface just like you see here. 
put the dough ball right back on top of it and take the opposite ends of each string and tie them on top of the dough ball. And when you've done all three, grab three pieces of string in each side of, you know, of your hands and make a little knot on top. You don't want the strings to be too tight around the dough ball, just tight enough to where they're, they're not very loose. So once you have these all done, you want to put them onto a baking sheet that has been lined with parchment paper and you want to cover it with a tea towel and let those rest for about two to three hours depending on the temperature of your kitchen. At about the two hour mark, go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees. And once your oven is preheated, you're going to want that oven rack in the center position. Bake the rolls for 20 minutes. Turn them halfway through the baking time just to make sure they all brown evenly. And then once they're finished, take them out and let them cool off completely. Now, once they're cool and you can handle them, use some scissors to snip the twine and cut the twine off of the top of each one of the little rolls and carefully peel it away from the roll. Now, at this point, um, you can freeze these if you want to make these ahead of time. Go ahead, make them, freeze them, and then you can take them out the day before or the day of. Let them thaw out at room temperature before you decorate them. Um, that's a really good idea. If you have a lot of baking to do for your holiday dinner, you might want to go ahead and just make these ahead of time. But right before you serve them, you want to decorate them. So we just took some of the long pretzel rods and cut about, or I'm sorry, snapped off about two to three inches off of each end and then stick that right in the center of your pumpkin. And also, if you want to have this cute little leaf like we have here, you will want to take a sage leaf and put it in there with the pretzel. So that's really how easy it is. And trust me, these are so soft and pillowy and the flavors of the pumpkin and the little bit of sugar that's in there goes so well with all the Thanksgiving dishes that you're gonna eat. So I promise that when everybody sees these on their plate, they are going to absolutely love them. And this might just be a new family tradition that you can make with your family. So until next time, bye guys.